My dear brothers and sisters, we have all made vows to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us in Surah Al-A'raf, verse 172, and remember when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala extracted from the children of Adam and made them testify, Alastu bi rabbikum, am I not your Lord? And they said, Qalu bala shahidna. Indeed, we have testified so that on the day of judgment, we will not be able to say that we were heedless of this affair. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is our creator and sustainer. The vow, the covenant that we made with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, greater than any vow that a husband makes to a wife, or a wife to a husband, or a mother to a child, or any other relationship. Yet you see, when it comes to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, shaitan has won this battle in distancing us from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The famous verse that all of us know here, we've heard it many, many times, where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that I did not create the mankind in jinn except for my worship. The greatest mufassir of the Quran, Abdullah bin Abbas radiallahu ta'ala anhumah, he said about this verse that to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is to know Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Meaning that the greatest form of worship that we can do is to get to know who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is. Because once you truly know who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is, you cannot help but to worship Allah and to love Allah and to venerate Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We're constantly told that this journey of life is about self-discovery, discovering who we are, discovering ourselves. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us in this verse that in order to truly discover who you are, in order to truly discover your potential, you need to discover who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is first. Because you will become a manifestation of the things that you ask Allah for. A manifestation of the things that you obey Allah with. A manifestation of those things that you plea Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for. So in order to truly discover who you are, you need to discover who your creator is. Because if your creator is filled with generosity, he will create generosity in you. If your creator is loving, he will create love in you. If your creator is pardoning, then he will instill pardoning inside of you as well. So to discover who you are and who you should be, you need to realize and learn who your creator is.